Hello, Monsters Abound here, and welcome back to Total War Three Kingdoms and part 43 of the campaign formerly known as the Martun Campaign. Well, the last holdouts of Leo Bei's forces, and my sinister son, Ma Yusheng, is taking them on. Looks like the defenders have decided to advance and charge against our sieging troops. Um, I, I guess that's fine for for them but you know I, I personally probably would say that's probably not a good idea um already the trebuchets have been i mean look there's that's that's a lot of people lying in a heap on fire um yeah the trebuchet's been doing horrendous damage taking huge chunks out of the enemy forces how many kills have they got 300 okay almost 400 and 100 so we've killed almost 500 of the enemy before they even reach our line some of them even falling back already the towers are on fire some G Militia, Infantry Captain, leading the charge there. Uh, I didn't realise this, but little Infantry Captains actually have a little a little, per look, little Captain. Currently got a couple of arrows embedded in them, so good for them. Taking a little bit of fire there. So we're concentrating arrow fire on the enemy archers to knock them out. That means the G Infantry are going to reach our lines, but I feel like... Our spear guards should be more than capable of holding them back. Still got some units filtering through the city because of course they set up a rat. I don't quite. Sometimes the AI just decides to like just charge you, and sometimes I kind of feel that makes sense because otherwise they'd just be sitting there getting pounded by your artillery. Okay, sure, but at the same time, why not? you know, try and attack you from multiple directions rather than just charge you from the same entrance. It's, it's almost a good tactic. It's almost like the AI just goes, oh, fuck it, we're dead anyway. May as well just charge them. So you get lots of infantry coming through the uh, the gate now, traipsing over the body. Look, they just stop at the... They, they stop and see their dead body, the bodies of their friends and just go, uh, I don't think this is a good idea. Maybe we should just surrender? I would accept the surrender. I would. I'd take it. I'm. I'm not interested in killing all of them. In goes the cavalry. Nice little flanking charge there. Send that G infantry uh, running. Trebuchets continue to open fire, getting some oh lovely shots there. Jesus, that's a lot. That's a, that's a lot of people on fire. Cavalry now pulling out, and then we're going to get another little charge on this unit of G infantry as well before these spears can arrive. In we go. Literally just control A right click. That that's the entirety of the tactic there, which works. And our archers concentrating fire on the advancing infantry. Look, the enemy run. I mean, I I would go with sensible personally but that's just me last few units running for their lives and a lot of dead bodies exactly the kind of win we needed that was very very clean i only lost 228 men only by growth will the word be spread. exactly and the word is the bird apparently my Sheng is now defiance see i told you it was a bad and dutiful honorable kind-hearted devious oh cheerful uncomplicated absolute bastard Truly, truly, my son. Okay, so we just need to mop up the last of Leo Bay. Uh, that should be easy enough. We are, of course, at war now with my um, spy, who is the Empress of the Kingdom of Wu Separatists, apparently. And uh, yeah, so now, okay, so I've, I've, I've had a think about this, and actually, I think it kind of makes sense. I know a lot of people probably be thinking, um, but she's your spy, she should be working for, but actually, if you think about it, so she's managed to orchestrate like quite a large rebellion she's probably had to get a lot of people on side a lot of people who probably don't like ma chow now 
the problem is, of course, that um, were she to suddenly go, that Machao, he's actually quite a swell guy. I think we should give all of our cities to him. That They might realise that she, she's a spy. So I wonder if, like, it's a whole sort of like, you know, I, I'm going to have to do this to, to sort of, you know, keep up appearances type thing. Still feels kind of weird, though, considering that she is offering to... I mean, we, we could get her to assassinate the faction heir, who I think might be her son. Who's the faction heir? Le Chu. And I think she was the... the wife of Lu Su. So, I think that's her son. And she is more than willing just to plunge a dagger in his face. So... Slightly mixed messages there, but I'll 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 run with it. It's fine. Okay, what else do we have? Do who else hasn't moved? Right, we need to wait. We do need to finish off. I think we're safe over here. Yes, the army's pretty good. Let's head in this direction. We'll go and deal with that. Uh, we do have a little army around here, but I don't think that's too much of a problem. Pang Dead dealt with that. Uh, Mar Chow, you can come southward to help us out. We have this over here as well. Um. I don't think they can do much. They might go for our farmland. That's the only thing. I to be honest, though, these itty bitty armies. I, not. Not. I don't think are much of a threat. So what I could do is maybe see if we can like lure them in a little bit. Maybe do something a bit like that. That seems pretty good. Uh, we've dealt with that army. You are all pretty much good to go. You need to come down here because we've got this last uh, Lady Feng army to deal with. Need to deal with that. You guys are all good to go. So you can come down here. Cheng Bo, having dealt with Lady Feng. Basically, we just need all, our, all of our armies in the south now. They need to come down here. We need to get them together. We need to land the killing blow on the Wu Separatists. We need to take Changsha. If we can take that, that's a win. That's a game win. Um, I don't know if I'll start another Three Kingdoms campaign right away. Because obviously we've got the Eight Princes um, campaign DLC being released within the next few weeks. And I imagine I'll probably... I mean, I've, I never expect to get early access. But I, I probably will get early access. Uh, fingers crossed. So if that is the case, and obviously I'll probably want to start an, an, an Eight Princes campaign because that looks quite fun. Um, so I might wait, sort of continue on the Fae Enchantress for the moment and then try uh, an Eight Princes campaign. The other thing is I want to start streaming again um, probably within the next few weeks, see how it goes. Um, thankfully, little little monsters abound is sleeping a little bit better in the evening now. So we, we might have a bit of a regime, uh, sort of like a little bit of a regime going there. And uh, that means I might be able to sneak in uh, the odd stream, but we'll have to see how that goes. It's very much a case of it'll be a little, a little, little test. See how we how we go along. Um, I return. Zhang Ba, I think you're going to get intensity. You're very intense. You're fiery. You're vengeful. You're energetic. You're enigmatic, and you're also a disciplinarian. Fair play. Fair play to you. I say, sir. Right, is there anyone else who has not moved? Let's check all of our armies. Caution. Douse is the hot oh, well, you haven't moved. Uh, what do I want to do with you? I could chase this army over here. You know what? We're just going to move south, I think. Let's move south. And Markong, of course. Who could forget Markong? Well, I kind of did, to be fair. Kind of forgot he existed. Let's bring him down here. Let's hurry you up. There we go. Okay, anyone else? Anyone else? With wisdom. Gargi, why haven't you... Come on, come, get a move on. There we go. Move all around. We've got 13 bloody armies. We could have 20. I don't I don't need 20. Just don't need it. Ancillaries. Uh, right, we got a whole bunch of staff. Of course, we gave the Ganjiang to Chengbo007, because what a guy. It's nice to get these, like, I, I feel like maybe it'd be not... Is the best we can offer. Really? Well, um, hmm. Let me think about this, Sal Sal. I've got you on the ropes, and you're literally going, okay, I give you a peep. No, no, screw you, right? Screw, tell you what, negotiate. 
You could be my bitch. No? You don't want to accept it? Well then, tough. Reject. Very well. Well, you say very well. I am going to fuck you up. I need to deal with this. No, don't attack my tray port. Not because I'm particularly attached to it, I just don't want to fight another minor settlement battle. Okay, lots of Kingdom of Wu separatists. To be honest, I think if we can get our armies in position, it should be fairly straightforward just to sort of like plow on through. I wonder what happens if we make her defect, if we make our Empress defect. Now, to, she is quite old, so she will probably drop dead fairly soon. And that then leaves her son potentially in charge of the Wu separatists, even though he... he well, I, uh, who knows? You liberated Zhang Yi. Well, good for you. You declared war on them. Don't really care. We got traits gained. Fugan is intrepid. And Gucci is bright. Channel passions. Yes. D d ch channel those passions. Do that. Uh, rebellion. Where? Okay. Did I? Oh, I meant to do a thing, didn't I? Uh, Confucian Temple. There we go. We'll get that done. Oh. Okay. Come over here and deal with that. You come over here and deal with that one. Could we get to the trade port? Maintain momentum. Boop. Harness the winds. Boop. I there we go. Again. There, you can't take my trade port now. To the grand design. Towards peace. And we've got armies closing on you from all directions. Just give it up. Just surrender. I wonder if we could, like... Yes, yes. Talk. No, because they are... They are a vassal of the kingdom of Wu. Speak, Kerr, could we get a... Hang on. Like, because I'm not particularly, like, bothered about the kingdom of Wu, can we get a peace treaty with them? <sighs> Never. Really? Really? Like, you've got bigger problems than me at the moment. You've got bigger... You really have, haven't you? You've got so much bigger problems than me. Kingdom of Wu separatists, they've got six food. Could we? This better be worth my time. No, you still don't like me, do you? Granted independence to us. Did I? I guess I kind of did in a way. But you don't like the fact you don't like my war atrocities against our friends. Fair enough. Um, faction influence, strategic threat, honourable treatment of soldiers of our enemies. I mean, make your mind up, guys. And other values. What the fuck is other values? Is it because I'm treacherous? I'm only a little bit treacherous. See? Only 61 treacherous. Only 21 of that is breaking breaking deals. I mean, you know. Chill. Christ. I don't know. It's no pleasing some people. Uh, right. Next. Let's take this fishing port. Uh, let's starve them out. I think. I'm in no rush to deal with Leo Bay. We will take him down bit by bit. Uh, I need a Confucian Temple here to cheer this lot up because currently they're tax exempt and I really want to tax them. Really want to tax them. Got this sudden urge to tax people. Um, could try and get you. Let's try and... I, I think you'll probably run away. In fact, I'm almost certain you'll, you'll go, nope. Nope. Okay, you that those armies have declined. So I'm guessing that maybe you don't have enough supplies or money to support all of your all of your armies. So let's maybe try and hit the livestock farm. Because if we can hit the livestock farm, that's the kingdom of Wu, not the kingdom of Wu separatists. But never mind. There's a small city there. They've got a city there. There's an iron mine, rice pat. I mean, there's nothing really here. We could maybe just go... It's like, just start mopping up some of these settlements over here. We could do something like that. Uh, do we go and finish... I think... Let's go and mop up Sal Sal. If we can, if we can finish him off... Finish him off, then he, he's no longer a threat, is he? And we've got just nobbled that. All sorted. Your ideal. You can come down here. To be honest, we should be marching you, really. 
I wonder if we can get a, like a little strike force together down here. Meet at the livestock farm. Meet at the livestock farm, boys. And uh, we're going to go and head straight for the capital. See if we can take it. It's a ballsy move, but uh, it might just pay off. Mark Kong, you can come down and help with Leo Bay. Although, to be honest, I think that might be over before you reach us. Anyone else? Uh, you are... I mean, we, we could just... I'm just going to starve them. Because if we, because I can't be bothered to fight a minor settlement battle, basically. So, all right, they're going to come and attack us anyway. Oh, screw it, I'll just delegate. Because that way, we actually get the replenishment. For China. And Ma Yu Sheng levels up, which is good. Where the fuck are you going? I have no idea. Uh, really? Ah, uh, hmm. He, Yan, you're a strategist. You've got a strategist friend. This is not the best strategy for you, but sure, whatever. No, look, your face planted. Oh well, that's that problem dealt with. We have an exchange of courageous warriors. You want a trade agreement? Which would give me a lot of money in exchange for one food. Uh, all right. We are in concert then. I do love a good concert. That that's not true. I hate concerts. Too loud. Too many people. Okay, so uh, I could, you know what I could probably win that, but I just can't be asked. It's kind of the same as the reason I never played a Western Roman um, Empire campaign in Attila. Because basically, there's just so many little fiddly fights that are all fairly similar, and I just lost the will to live. You can win them. Like, you can pretty much win every single one of those fights. But it's just so draining. I don't know why you'd bother. Okay, Kingdom of Sep uh really? Fine. But still, apparently he on. See so Simma Wan Shu okay, well that's fine. Faction decide Simma Wan okay, good, they're dead. Settlement lost, don't care. Uh traits gained. Mei Ho is now impeccable. And Sao Zhang is uncomplicated. Good for both of them. Gold stars there. Delegate that one. From the roots to heaven. We Boop. will bring righteousness to this. Would be assassin while your men were establishing order in the newly annexed town. A disgruntled civilian lashes out at one of your officers in a heated altercation, attempts to kill him. Your officer has the wherewithal to defend himself and even managed to kill his attacker, but is badly wounded in the scuffle. Well, China is people. I'll send him a get well card. In the meantime, Ma Yusheng, let's give you... Uh, eight resolve. Which would lead on to... Okay. I quite like earthen ramparts because that does give quite a lot of charge resistance. Let's do that. Let's do that. Right, you need to heal up, but you'll be fine. Uh, we can move you down here to assist with that last Leo Bay settlement, but no big deal. Now, because they've been vassalized, they are not at war with us anymore. But frankly, I really don't care. So I'm going to just finish them off. Thank you. I'll take that. Our faith was rewarded. In time, they will thank us for this. Yes, the survivors will anyway. Bring news of what occurred. Ma Ying has leveled up one of my sons, I guess. Not really been paying attention. Uh, I have a stifling deluge. 
have one of them. Now, I need to deal with this guy over here. Not just because he's kind of in my way, to be honest. That's really, really the only reason. Let's bring you over there. Bring you over there. Sort that little problem out. You are trying to run away. Come back. You're going to run away again. Can I get you? Yes, I can. Not quite sure what you were planning. I'm just going to... No, I meant no, I meant delegate. Delegate. There we go. Better. Sorry. The people's voice cannot be silenced. Booped him. Right, we've got Hong Yang. Apparently, he's cruel, uncomplicated, and fiery. He has the six secret teachings. I want them. It is the people's will. You are formidable, feared, vengeful. That's a lot of very angry traits for a strategist. So go away. Return them to their kin. And Sao Ang, who is an heir for the faction, he has hardened iron shell and also is friends or oath sworn with Sao Sao. Unsurprising, because obviously, you know, he's his son. So obviously we're going to chop his head off. We should not waste resources on them. They fought only for their beliefs. Embarking. Nope, oh, he's dead. Outwards and on. I wonder how angry Sao Sao is right now. Probably pretty, pretty shitty. Pretty, pretty shitty. Ben, do not uh, let's check out. Let's check in on our spy. What can you do? You could improve relations. Is that really worth it, though? Is that worth it? I'm not sure. Who do you have in? Do you have anyone interesting? Let's have a look. Anyone interesting? Not really. In fact, you don't actually have as many characters as I thought you would. I wonder if you've had to get rid of a few. Hmm. Now. 30-50. In a couple of turns, we should be able to assassinate the faction heir, which will be fun. So I guess we'll do that. In the meantime, I'm going to go and grab this livestock farm. Let's just... Sure. Our victory is proof of heaven's approval. We will bring righteousness to this settlement. Take that. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to bring all of our lads, everyone we can grab, down to this livestock farm. Basically, we are preparing a little assault force because we need to cross the river and we need to take the Imperial City here. So that's what we're going to be aiming to do. So, who else do we have? Uh, Changbo. Yeah, we really need you down here as well. It's going to take you quite a while. So, I mean... I do have so much money, I could potentially disband these armies and remake them, but... It would take a while, because you only have so many seasonal musters, uh, seasonal musters so it would... I don't know. It would probably be, it would probably be more expedient, but... Martin. Just get over there and deal with that army, would you? Thank you very much. Anyone else we haven't moved? No, we've moved everyone. Look at that. How efficient. I'm not going to bother with worrying about building because I'm, I'm really more interested with building my little assault. Oh, there's Leo Bay's little, little army. Although I imagine they probably don't have much in the way of um, supplies left anymore. A lot of these armies are looking very... I... You know what I want if they're having problems with satisfaction? I should have checked. Because a lot of these armies are suddenly take are suddenly reducing quite significantly. They haven't like fought battles or anything. They're just reducing in army strength. And I think it's probably because either they can't afford the army or because the generals are leaving because of satisfaction problems, potentially. Let's check that. So, perceptive burst unobservant. Uh, who is it? How I, I have no idea who. Fuck it, that one. Right, spies. 
uh, you. Now, all of these guys are fairly happy. But armies-wise, I mean, that's not looking very good, is it? They do not have a lot of armies. What happened to them all? Can they not afford it? They don't have a huge amount of money. I think they're struggling. I don't entirely know why, but they are. So, with that in mind, maybe if we take Jiang Ling, then we can head down the coast, land north of, and then just head straight for the city. Uh, can we reach it in one turn? Yes, we can. Order will spread throughout. Uh, so let's continue the siege. Continue the siege there. Let's move you down to assist. Let's move you down here. We've got to reform. Ah, we can get our spear bow boys. Bosh, done. Okay, now I think it's fairly safe to say that we can probably fairly easily delegate that one. So we'll do that. From the roots to heaven. So occupy. Thank us for this. Right. Obey instinct. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to replace oops, no, I meant to do that. Because we want the best army Celebrate. possible. Our victory was just. So we're going to replace some of these boys. Some of that. Uh, you are going to get some of these lads. In fact, we're going to replace all of them with that. Uh, you are going to get some Azure Dragons in this army. I feel like... Screw it. We're, we're gonna, I, I don't care. We're, we're doing it. Um, is, wait. Ha, c right. I want to... I want to check who's better. <sighs> who's better? So they've got... Uh, 39 melee evasion compared to 51, 53 armor compared to, they've also got 53, 18 armor piercing compared to 20, 42 normal attack compared to 46. So the Protectors of Heaven are better, but they don't have, I mean, these guys have only got nine ammo to be fair. Welcome, my lord. If we get a couple of them and then replace the rest with Protectors of Heaven. So let's do that. Okay, that looks good. You guys I think will be fine as that. Bring news of what occurred in my absence. I think, right, we want to replace you with... Oh, you can't get the Heavy Spear variant. Screw it. Oops, no, didn't mean to do that. Home gladdens the heart. You get protectors of heaven, you get protectors of heaven, everyone gets protectors of heaven. Boom. And do we have enough for the drag? I think we have enough. I think we're using a lot of money here, but... But I think it's it's in a good, for a good cause. It's for a good, good cause. You know what? I'm going to switch those out for hunters as well. Bosh. Okay. So this is our strike force. We're going to sail down the river. 
We're going to land. We're going to take the capital. And we're going to swing a win for Marchau, even though Marchau is bloody miles away. But uh, I think, you know, we kind of pushed our way towards the enemy kingdom, the enemy capital. And I think if we could just grab that, we'll be in a good position. And it certainly feels like it's um, causing the civil war has certainly made life a lot easier for us. But I don't entirely understand why. Little bit weird. Oh, did I forget to move you? I was... I was too I was too busy getting my um my strike force together. That's all right. I've got people on the move anyway. No big deal. I'm not sure Chengpo will reach reach it in time. I think we're I think we're literally turned away from a victory because I don't think we I think we can hit the capital almost immediately. I think we can hit the capital almost immediately. I think it's uh, it's a ballsy move, but one that we're going to do. Because I, I, I think all we need to do is take that capital. And then, boom. Victory. You insult the title of Emperor. Well, I mean, I was going to declare war on you anyway, so... Oh, well. You know, I'm not... I'm not that disappointed, to be honest. Lots of enemy armies moving around, but I don't... They've, they've got their concentration around the capital. They're trying to defend themselves, but our strike force is looking pretty overwhelming. Okay, you declared war on me. I don't know why. That's basically suicide. Uh, a steed to rival the ages. What do we get? Cleox, uh, a black stallion. Okay, cool. That's, that's nice. Did you declare war on us because we were sitting, like, you know, outside Attention. your city? Because I still feel There's that's no a bad, no bad option. You are going to run for your life. Fair enough. Can't blame, you know, blame you for that. Um... Yeah, I think I'll just delegate that one because it should be fairly straightforward. My legend grows. Oh, Zuchi. <gasps> I didn't realise he was there. I'm following my... Yes, yes. A thousand times, although... Giant Bane. 5.4 thousand armour-piercing damage. I think we'll get him on side. He is a little bit maimed, but... Uh, but, uh, yeah. Be merciless. Boom. Good stuff. Uh, can we can we Where get my, my I, well, who knows? Attack. Can we just finish off this guy? Let feasting commence. Uh, Lily. I love your name, but you're disloyal. So consider this. A mercy. Yep, that's a mercy. Chopping your head off. Almost certainly a mercy, and uh, they're dead. Good. Right, Sao Sao has one last settlement left. Poor old Sao Sao. The one thing you can say about Sao Sao is he always tried his best. Just a noble. Bop, get Markong just to bop that. Each victory brings stability to the realm. It does. So I've heard. It would be prudent to occupy this place. Is that Liu Bei done for? Or oh, he's got this army down here, who is currently losing supplies. Gonna be honest, don't think they're gonna be around for much longer. Now. Bring news of what occurred in my absence. You're okay. What about you? Do I know Hong Ming? You're actually not bad. What about you? Gochun, again, you're not... Home gladdens the heart. I am at Could I... Disposal, my lord. Could I... I want Zhu Chu. Zhu Chu? I want Zhu Chu. I want Zhu Chu, but, um... Hmm. I want Zhu Chu in my strike force, because I've been trying to get him for bloody ages, and uh, it looks like we're finally almost there, which is very exciting. Pangda, uh, let's 
bring you down. I don't really know what to do with you, Pain. I mean, to be honest, I'm, I'm mostly interested about a strike force. So Advancing. let's bring you down there. I think. Trust instinct. Pooh has leveled up. We can give her zeal. Which means she now is 30 melee power. Pretty, pretty good. Not bad at all. Pretty tanky. She is. How old is she? 62. Getting on. Marchau 51. He is going to live to be emperor. How about that? How exciting. Um, although it does look like they are recruiting more armies because Lu I don't think Lu Chu had an army before. I, I think maybe they had a problem with. Um, Mm, mm. These armies are picking back up, aren't they? So it looks like they had a bit of a dip in the amount of armies they had, or maybe the officers started, like, leaving or something. Uh, but it looks like they've got it back under control, and uh, their armies are rebuilding quite quickly. So the sooner we can get our forces into position, the better. Anyone else hasn't moved? Marchal, let's move you down here so you can head over and grab that farmland. I return. How fair the uh, you guys are pretty much good to go. So you know what? Can we... We're going to... Head over here. So that we're ready to land and take this lumber mill. And then what we're going to do is we're going to head down the coast. Because I think landing here would be a mistake. So we're going to take this lumber yard. And then we're going to head down the, um, the coast down here using this road. And we're going to hit the capital. That's the plan. You need to replenish a little bit. But you'll be fine. And you need to deal with these yellow turbines. Naughty yellow turbines. That's it. Careful planning. Ensured victory. Exactly. And I'll do something like that. Anyone else not moved? Uh, that we know about. Good. Okay. Okay. We're almost there. You laying... Oh, oh, you cheeky bastard. Not sure what you're up to, but... Okay, sure. Are you... Okay. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. We need to stop that siege, but other than that... They're having some rebellions as well. Which is good. Uh, which city is under siege at the moment? Oh yes, there we go. Well, I'll be honest. I don't think this is going to work out very well for you. Justice nope. cannot be denied. Didn't work out very well for him. Oh, we've got some stuff. Good. Uh, I'll they take the income. Naked and violent. Frustrated with the endless duels against the enemy and tiring of swapping exhausted horses for fresh one, Su Chu strips off his armor and rides back into battle naked. I mean, that is quite... Um, that's, 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 that's quite the opener for, for, for joining, because he only joined us last last turn so I mean quite quite the way to, to make waves in your new faction is to strip off naked I guess which is you know fair enough fair play to him Bring news of what occurred in my absence. Uh, I want to swap someone out like maybe you could do Can we swap out the What do you wish, my lord? I want to okay, well alright, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get Zu Chu. Is there a way we can keep the original? I don't think we can, is there? <sighs> Shit. Okay, well. 
Destroy corruption. We're gonna have to to delay, but that's fine. Only for a few turns. And to be honest, I don't think we can we can cross the river here, can't we? Let's get on the river. Land there. Can we actually hit the? Yes, we can. Let's starve them out for a turn because we're in we're in no rush. We're in no rush. We'll wait for that army to uh, prep and uh, be on its way. Then we can move these boys down this way to link up. Pangda, we can go and maybe take this lumberyard because I don't think there's anyone really in our way at the moment. So we'll just grab that. Our victory is proof of heaven's approval. Basically, only by growth will the word be spread. We're just going right. Let's set up a right. You lot. Brief. The emperor's time is valuable. I am the bloody emperor. Will you never? You will never abdicate. Okay. Okay. Does Sal Sal have anyone left? No, I didn't think so. Uh, yeah, I think we'll just delegate that one. Our faith was rewarded. We will bring righteousness to this settlement. Is that Sal Sal dead, or does he have an army slinking around somewhere? Hey. Eh? Oh, how about that? He's got a fishing port. Okay, well, we'll have to deal with that. Uh, but to be honest, not a big deal. Zhangji, uh, you can be, I don't know, clarity. Have some clarity. Yeah, that'll work. And Ma Chao, I think we're going to move you down the coast. And we'll move you to join up with Pang De and attack from this direction. We're basically just closing in. Drawing the noose closer and closer. Okay, having dealt with that, we need to march you down to link up with the rest of our armies. It's literally just moving a lot of our armies around at the moment. Towards peace. Uh, Mark Kong, Rejoice. you've dealt with that. How's happiness down here? You know what? I'm not even that bothered. I don't really care if they're happy or not. Looks like Zaji has leveled up. Let's give you consideration. Because it seems like a good thing to give you. Uh, you quickly. still are all... Zhang Ji. Uh, I guess we can move you along with Ma Chao. I mean, you know. Persevere. I'm in no rush. Let's get a Confucian temple there to cheer people up. Everyone loves a good old temple. Yes, lot, lots of armies all over the place. Who's leveled up? Oh, it's not level, it's a city. Uh, I'm going to demolish that because I don't want it. Okay. That, those, that's Wu, isn't it? That's not Wu Separatist, that's just Wu. So the fact that they're still beating each other up makes life easier for me. Don't take my copper mine. I need that for the anti-corruption, although I don't think I've got the tech for it just yet. It looks like they're all they're pulling their forces back to defend the capital. I can't blame them because uh, there's, there's a lot there's a lot of my armies currently headed in their direction. And that that's not a good that's not good for them. They've got to be a little bit concerned about that. Really? Okay. Sure. Uh, I will take the replenishment. Thanks. The Keep moving against winters and And we'll occupy. Uh, so he declared war on the Kingdom of Wu separatists. Fair enough. You have ranked up. 
we've got fire arrows. Could, you know, Wisdom of River I quite like as a debuff. It's quite good. How are you doing? You're still mustering. You're still okay at the moment. You took that city last time. So what I might do is maybe like do something like that. Uh, let's bring you down. I mean, basically, we're just moving our forces. Into position. Pangda there. Let's bring him down. Marchao. Jinjiang. I mean, they're, they're having rebellions as well. Can we actually see... See, oh, we can't see cities. So, I right. So, so we we can kill her son, can we? Easily replaced. Sure, why not? Let's uh, let's 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 kill their heir. Let's let her let's poison her son, which makes absolutely no sense. But it's fine, I guess. Uh, Pangda has moved. Resist corruption and it... Let's get you down here. Probably should be marching. Let's get you down there. Let's get you marching. Yes, everyone's marching. Where are you? You are down there. In which case, I would like that trade port. Thank you very much. Attack! Uh, let's starve them out for a for a turn. No rush. Let's upgrade you. You're still replenishing. You're getting three t uh, three turns really. Are you still? You're not actually mustering, are you? Yeah, it is pretty pretty great. May wisdom blow. Okay, let's get every yeah, just just keep keep coming south. Everyone, Mark Kong, where are you? You're over there. Let's bring you down as well. Everyone everyone yeah, good, 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 good. We're getting there. Did I tell you to move oh well oh, never mind, it's fine. Just yeah, just scooch across. That's fine. Okay, you're causing a little bit of chaos. That's good. That's good. They're causing a little bit of chaos, but I'm not too, not too concerned about that, really. I, I could have put an army up there. I could have just made an army and probably dealt with that, but... And there goes wifey. Uh, well, not wifey, sorry. There goes Empress, our spy. Our femme fatale. I'm not... I mean, I, I certainly, certainly think the Civil War was the way to go. It made my life significantly easier. It is a little bit confusing. Um, I think maybe that could just be fixed with some... Some of the tooltips, maybe? Uh, declare war on Kingdom of Wu, Commander Vassal Shuhai, declare war on... Okay, sure. On South Sound, an exquisite weapon. What do we get? What do we get? Heirloom Spear. Nah, that's all right. I just want to say it's exquisite. It's fine. At ease. Okay, let's bring you down. Let's bring you down. Let's bring you down. Let's see if we can lay a little ambush like this. How can we cross? We can cross there. So actually, if we like... Head in this direction. There's some armies there we need to deal with. 
uh, need to be a little bit careful because we don't want to run right into an enemy army and uh, get our arm we we'll get an army destroyed just for no good reason a land without people is bereft of spirit yeah it is pretty rubbish isn't it although on the other hand sometimes having a lot of people in the same place is a bit shit so marching let's go down here Lay a little ambush, and you boys, sorry ladies, down here, laying siege to that trade port, we can carry on doing that, it's all good, we've got just some more armies to carry on moving, okay, um, I think, you know what, it's fine, we've got our armies moving into position, the rest of our armies just coming down to join us, but to be honest, I don't think they're going to reach us in time. I wish you could speed them up with... You used to be able to speed them up with space bars, didn't you? But you can't seem to do it anymore. Never mind. It's fine. It's atmospheric. Oh, oh, yes. Got them in an ambush. Close victory. Uh, you know what? I'll take it because it's fine. We fought ambushes. We know what they look like. Nig, uh, kill me or release me. These are your only options. Okay, um, I'll we'll execute you. They have nothing to contribute. And I'll take the replenishments. Okay, we blunt. Oh, that was Sao Sao. Can we kill Sao Sao? Could we kill Sao Sao? Interesting. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. Like, we're losing a couple of settlements, but on the other hand, we're also gaining a load elsewhere, so... You know. It looks like they're running away. I thought they were defending their set their, their, their capital, but it looks like... Oh, you're running into Pangda, are you? That's a mistake for you. Ooh. Well... Yep, stab in the head, and then off with his head. Yep, that, that, that stab through the chest even, then, then off with his head. That's, a, you know, winning combination. And we got a horse. Good. And a thing. Good. I'll take the replenishment as well. So basically, I'm just auto-resolving at the moment because... Just kind of... Uh, kind of the point, I just want to win the campaign now. It's kind of, you know... Got to the point where I'm like... This is this is fun. I enjoyed it, but I think uh, it's, it's time to move on. Ancillary's gained. What we get? To fight. Why do I always get shitty yellow armor? For the people. Okay, so At ease. I want to see. Uh, can we see? Yeah, let's. Let's move you in to assist us. For China. Uh, we are going to continue the siege. Ever upwards. Let's move you down here to so support both of us. Can we cross the river? Yes. Stay a little ambush there just for fun. Uh, let's go and murder Sao Sao because he's right there. Hello, Sao Sao. Oh, into the bushes. Where he belongs. Yes. Also, you know, outnumbered them as well. That that helped. All deeds towards the design. Reserve action. Leveled up. Who leveled up? You can have... I oh know that one. Have that one. And we'll deal with... Uh, to battle. Panda can finish off Sao Sao. That's yet another faction dead. Be just knock, just knock him down. Boom, boom, boom. Sao Sao In gone. Time, Sao Sao, you're out, out of here. Schemes against the Sao. Chen falls. Path of glory. Apparently that was a quest we've had. Um, don't know for how long, but <laughs> there we go. The Duchy of Wei are dead. For five turns, we get the Path of Glory. So 10% increase income from peasantry, 7 public order, and 8k population growth. Well, that is really going to help. Duchy of Wei, 
are dead. China, Central, uh, Central China falls to new rulers. Uh, it is clear now that China must be brought to peace by forcible means. Um... I mean, I've kind of been on that already. Uh, there can be no sharing of power. Warlords will only bicker. We must claim the remaining capitals and bring this chaos to a swift end. So we need that one over there, which is fine. And Changsha, which we are already kind of... Yeah, kind of kind of already, already on that one, aren't we? Let's take this one. Our faith was rewarded. Only by growth will the word be spread. Occupy. Excellent. Right. Let's get reinforcements down to assist us. That's all good. Chengbo, can we get you in here as well to lend to help us out? Yes, we can. There you are. Everyone's joining in. There's a big long train of armies heading for Chengsha. They are basically screwed. We have another reform, which is fantastic. Apparently, um, what do we want? How about ever level granaries? Sure, I love level granaries. Um, wonky granaries, one of my pet hates. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So just one more turn, um, then we can move. I, I, who do I want in this final battle? I think Cheng Bo has to be a definite. I want Zhu Chu in here as well. Zhu Chu, um, because. You know, I spent quite a while trying to get him and we've now got him which is great and I want to at least use him in one battle and seen as this is probably going to be the last battle of the campaign it makes sense to use him here a little bit of a shame we didn't finish off that guy but you know you can't win them all can you So I wonder who the... Because... There's our spy, our femme fatale. She's quite old. She, she will drop dead at some point. Um, she, she's killed her own son. And now I don't quite know what to... I mean... What? No, that's reforms. What do I do with her? <laughs> what do I do with her? Who's the new heir? Do do they have one? Uh, Lu Fen. Right. Larceny. There's... I don't think there's any items that we can actually steal. Steal a random item from your faction before escaping. So... Could we do this? Could we, like, just... <laughs> the Empress, like, steal something. And then, like, just flees the faction. Fuck it. Caught in the act. As your supply prepares to escape, <laughs> covers his item in hand, they find themselves surrounded by armed guards. Some of the guards are undoubtedly linked to your undercover network and might be called upon. <laughs> She's a fucking empress. Um, sure. Our spies returned from their mission. <laughs> what a fucking mission. Holy shit. They've stolen an item. What item did we get? Did we get a robe of the omen maker? Is that it? Jesus. Okay. So. Impossible. Be thankful I deign to speak to you. Mate, who the fuck are you? Ying Boron. I have no idea who you are. Okay, brilliant. That is probably one of the best things to ever happen in any Total War game ever. So let, let's just summarise what happened there. Our, our femme fatale, she joined um, Sun Jian. She then executed Sun Xuan, Sun Jian, Sun Su, became Empress, caused a civil war, and then and then stole a robe and made a run for it. Fucking amazing. Oh, just 
Brilliant. Okay, um, what we're going to do, we're going to break the siege. We're going to break the siege. We're going to bring in... Uh, where's Changpo? Changpo, there we are. Let's bring Changpo in. Uh, yeah, continue the siege. Victory belongs to us. For China. Uh, you're going to pull back. Let desire shape We're going to bring you in to help. To so we should get... Yeah, okay. Okay, here we go. Last battle of the campaign. We've got a lot of guys. They've got a big garrison. They've got a big city. We're going to take the city. And we're going to do it with Chengbo 007, Zhuge Liang, and uh, old Su Chu there, the, the tiger fool. Man of simple thoughts and principles, but an impressive warrior who fights with bestial rage. Cool. The final battle of the campaign. Moving on the last seat of the three emperors. Two armies here. Uh, no Zuchula. He's not, uh, he decided not to turn up. We've got Zhuge Liang. We've got Gucci. We've got Changbo, 007. We've got Zheng Teng. We've got Huan Lin and Sun Huan. I'm, I just want to check his... Changbo, does he have his nice little sword? Holy shit, look at that sword. Nice sword. It's got a proper individual model and everything. Very nice. Uh, apparently there's a duel going on. Apparently, uh, Rong Hee Hin Huan Lin. Your words are as pathetic as you are. Just sort of kicking each other in the face uh, as the advancing armies move in. And there goes Zhuge Liang's archers just raining fire down. Amazing that you can both talk and battle. And the carnage is Look, the enemy run. is pretty devastating. I mean, it's just units just melt. They just melt away under that barrage of fire. They've got so many arrows as well. Zhuge Liang is such a good good character. You give him onyx dragons and just entire armies just dead. Can't stop him. Uh, who's next under the barrage? Of, uh, I think, yeah, just, just units behind the wall, basically, just getting rained down on. We've got some uh, mercenary axemen, some militia. Our force is now advancing. We've managed to blow holes in the wall there, looking pretty good. So we've got some entryways. I think the gates are down as well. The jewel's going pretty well. Let's have a quick uh, see how that's going. How's it going, lads? I don't know. If you, I mean, if you aren't Lin, I, I can't remember who he is. And wrong, he's no one important either, so... Uh, Is that your best? Come on, try harder. Yeah, try harder. Come on, pick it up. Okay, the general's on the move now. So, Zheng Teng, Suan, Sun Huan, and Cheng Bo moving up. While Gucci and Zhuge Liang just hang back. No point putting them in danger. Forces moving on the wall. I'm, I'm just going to throw everything I've got at them, basically, because... I'm fairly sure our infantry should be able to get into the city, and if they can't, um, we've got an entire line of cavalry just waiting for their chance. And of course our archers, who have plenty of ammo left and are just continuing to rain fire down. Any enemy unit that decides to go up onto the city walls is basically just reduced into mush. Some enemy units, uh, I mean, one forming a circle for some reason. Not entirely sure why they did that. Doesn't really matter. They're getting smashed by trebuchet shots anyway. I wonder what they... they they're like, right, we're, we're getting smashed by fireballs. What about if we form into a circle? Brilliant. Let's do it. Let's see how that goes. Turns out 
not very well did not go very well for them jesus christ okay well yeah the trebuchets have done a lot of damage a lot of stuff's on fire that whole mob of units is is on the run infantry is continuing to try and fight its way through into the city looks like we're gaining ground More walls coming down, giving us more entry points. We have a unit of Protectors of Heaven moving in to intercept. Some units of enemy... and pro uh, Protectors of Heaven will be Protectors of Heaven. Who can protect Heaven the most? It's a grudge match. And some lag. I can't really blame it. There's a lot of shit going on at the moment. There's lots of arrows raining down. Uh, we've got some enemy Archer Militia. How are they going to fare? Uh... Not, not well, I think is the answer to that. Not well at all. Yep, they are. Dead. I mean, uh, the, the one... The one point, the problem with this... Okay, yeah, it, it's all very well, like, raining arrows down on, on the enemy to the point where they literally evaporate. But can you imagine having to get those bodies back up? I mean, it's literally be stapled to the ground. You're just going to have to go out like... Uh, it, if you've ever unscrewed the bottom of a laptop, just trying to get all those screws out, and then you always find another one. So you try and lever it off, and it, uh, it's not coming. There's, there's always going to be one extra arrow down there somewhere, isn't there? You just, uh, there's, a, there's one in his leg as well. Okay, Protective Heaven. V Protective Heaven looking pretty. And then come out our cavalry. Just throwing our cavalry into the mix as well. It looks like this battle is very much in our favour. I've not I've not played this particularly sort of carefully, because I think I just massively outnumber the enemy. So this, this battle's pretty much... A dead cert. Forces streaming into the city from every direction now. Archers finishing off any stragglers. Last few units of protective heaven going down. Some archers still desperately trying to like just, just fall. I mean. It's a target-rich environment for them. They can't miss, can they? Unfortunately, they just don't have enough arrows. The tower's already down. Actually, no, that's not true. They do have a tower here. They do. They, they have one tower, so there's that. Uh, yeah, the Protectors of Heaven. Slowly, slowly going down, slowly going down. And as soon as they're dead, there we go. They're now routing. The last bit of protection for these archers is gone. Basically, uh, the city's ours. The campaign is ours. What a win. Destiny is wrought in steel and measured in blood. China cannot endure the chaos of man's aspiration forever. With none left to guide China, Ma Teng knew only he remained. The old ways cannot remain when the will of heaven shifts. And it has. The empire, long divided, must unite. Beneath an emperor with celestial authority to rule. A dynasty to endure forever. So we have achieved a campaign victory. Uh, can we look at the records? So there we go. We can actually see... Oh, look at that. Take it we can go all the way... Does it go all the way back? Uh... Step 10 years. Ah, oh, so we could watch it all the way. I mean, could do. Could do. That tends to be what I do Fight. with my... Uh... And you will be <laughs> <laughs> well. Well, there we go. There we go. Pang De, the White Horse General, been in 74 battles, 39 years in service, 18 successful duels. Holy shit. Pang De winning... Winning the campaign there. 
There we go. I'll, I'll, I'll scroll through slowly. So if you want to uh, have a quick look at what the stats were, then uh, feel free. Normally, I finish off by going through the the records in my Warhammer campaigns just for fun. But I think uh, no heroic victories. That's a bit weird. But no crushing defeats either. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. But Pangda, favourite character, longest serving and duelist. Pangda, definitely winner of the campaign. What I'm interested to see, actually, I'm going to continue it just a moment because what I am interested to see victory complete good uh, apparently we get 10,000 monies and Emperor seat captured unification of China blah 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 uh, ignore the advice don't really care what I'm interested to see is where is our spy it looks right so she's preparing to return Is she going to keep all of her items? That's my question. Because currently, she's got a lot of shit. So I'm just going to end the turn. And I'm going to see if Huang returns to my faction with, with all of the shit she's been equipped with. Because, if anything, steal, stealing a robe at that point is, is sort of secondary to stealing the Imperial Seal, Sun Jian's sword... And a whole bunch of other crap. What a campaign, though. Starting off as Martung. I think for Martung, it's a really fun campaign. The um, extra... Because they said there's some changes coming in with the eight princes. Um, things like cataphracts for the vanguards. And some changes to the, to the main campaign. So all that looks quite interesting. So I can't wait to see that. I hope you've really enjoyed the Martung campaign. I've really enjoyed playing it. It's, it's been brilliant. Really, really love Three Kingdoms. Uh, where is... There she is. Yep. <laughs> yep. She's got the Ancient Silver Sword. She's got Heavenly Fire. And she's got the Imperial Jade Seal. I think... I think if... I mean, obviously, Pang De is is one of the MVPs of the campaign. But I think... If, if, there, if there is the ultimate MVP in this campaign, it's going to have to go to Huang here, who who killed her way to the top of of Wu and then poisoned her son, killed her husband, no, killed her husband, poisoned her son, and then stole a robe along with pretty much of course a civil war, and then stole effectively all of Sun Jian's heirlooms by herself. I mean, that is... The sun is life-giving. But will burn if it not. Well, that that is true, and that's why you should always wear um, sunscreen. And I think the takeaway from this campaign is always wear sunscreen and uh, be, beware of your wife, basically, because she she could but she could be uh, Martung's spy. But on that bombshell, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.